Chair. Two weeks ago, in the last Cabinet, we were predicting a massive overspend of about 30 million, which now magically seems to have been reduced down to 15 million in, in just two weeks. I really have difficulty in believing that. It, it just seems so um, incredible. And Councillor Brown, I'm afraid it still does suggest to me that the Council's finances are out of control and that nobody sort of has a real handle on them. I've been saying similar things over the last three years, but we really are now getting towards the end of the road. The suggested cuts to services in this report are not credible and will have a massive impact on the people of Northamptonshire, especially the most vulnerable, which you were uh, arguing you're, you're, you're working for. I do, however, welcome the acknowledgement at last that there is a structural deficit in our finances, but with that acknowledgement, we surely need to ask for help before it's too late. Central governments are only too aware of our situation, but seemingly are unwilling to act or perhaps don't care, and are certainly not willing to help and passing the book directly back to us or to you guys. We need help, and let's be honest, we're government, and let's ask for that help. Um, I also have to say how disappointed I am that this really important report was only issued on Friday afternoon for a meeting today. It hasn't allowed any councillors, opposition or otherwise, to have time to study the implications of some of the proposals in it. If the report genuinely couldn't be ready before Friday, then surely we should have had our meeting on Tuesday or Wednesday. We've had no time to get a detailed explanation of the report, and at first glance, with regards to the uh, potential, potential of further bed blocking, it looks as though you're trying to blackmail the NHS. Now, I'm sorry if that's not the case, but that's what it looks like at first glance. And if it's not, could somebody please explain to me why it's not? One minute, Councillor Scrimshaw. The government wants us to work more closely with the NHS, uh, and that makes sense, but surely this is hardly the way to negotiate with our supposed partners. Thank you, Chair.